Having the space in your house to build out a home theater is a big commitment, trust me on that one. I've actually built a couple of them over the years. They take up a ton of space and they cost a lot of money. And unless you're gonna be watching like a movie twice a week, it's a hard thing to justify. But let's just say once a month, you and a few friends get together on an evening to watch a movie or a TV show and all you've got in your living room is that living room TV that's mounted way too high on the wall to be comfortable and way too far away to be immersive. I love this TV. Well, that right there is the perfect use case for this little guy. This is the Nebula Capsule 3 Laser, and Nebula was kind enough to sponsor this video and send a couple of their projectors my way to check out. This is a 1080p DLP laser projector that's basically only slightly bigger than a can of soda. Nebula tells me that they are the first brand to put this laser technology into something that's this small. Not only that, but it's got a built-in battery and speakers, and it runs on an Android operating system so that you can download any of your favorite streaming apps from the Google Play Store onto this thing. This is actually a, a special limited edition of the Capsule 3 Laser that they built in collaboration with the Transformers brand. There's Transformers branding all over the box and the projector itself is painted in this blue and red Optimus Prime colorway. They've told me it's because Optimus has laser eyes and this is a laser projector, so I, I think it looks pretty cool. They're only selling like 4,000 of these, so if you want one, I'd grab one real soon, but there's also a stealthy black version if you prefer that. Aside from the projector itself, you also get a remote and a quick start guide in the box, as well as a USB type C cable for charging the projector because yes, this is battery powered, but more on that later. On top of the projector, you'll find several capacitive touch buttons that are backlit in case you lose the remote. And then on the bottom, there's a quarter 20 mounting hole for a tripod, as well as some grippy rubber feet for placing it on a table or a desk. This is by far one of the easiest projectors to set up. Right on the front, underneath the lens, is a little hole for a camera that's used to handle all of the focusing and keystone correction in about four to five seconds. When you start up the projector or hit the little focus button on the remote, the projector displays this giant auto-focusing grid. And from that, the camera can extrapolate any sort of data that it needs to make sure that the image is perfect every time. It doesn't matter if it's like upside down, right side up, front projected or rear projected, the projector will know and will automatically adjust to however you have it set up. It's super neat. And if you've ever taken the time to painstakingly go through the motions of manually focusing a projector and fumbling through menus to find the keystone adjustments, you know how awesome this feature really is. The Capsule 3 laser is capable of projecting up to a 120 inch image, which is just ridiculous for a projector that's this small. I'm not quite sure I'd recommend going, you know, that big for this projector, given that you're gonna be sacrificing some of your brightness to do that. The further away the projector is from the wall or the screen, then the less bright the image is gonna be. This projector is rated for 300 ANSI or ANSI lumens, which is pretty good considering the size of this little thing. So if you're in a dark or dimly lit environment and you've got like an 80 to 100 inch screen, it's gonna perform great. This is what it looks like playing a movie in my living room with most of the lights off. Given that this is a laser projector, the colors and contrast coming out of it is gonna be much better than most bulb based projectors. And keep in mind, I'm not even projecting this onto a projector screen. This is just onto a blank white wall that's not even true white. So if you've got a projector screen, it'll likely be even brighter than this. I'm running this movie through Google Play Movies, but if you don't want to use any of the apps that you can download from the Google Play Store, you can always just plug an HDMI cable into the back so that you can use uh, your laptop or a media player or whatever. Better yet, you can actually just wirelessly cast directly from your laptop or phone to the projector since it has Chromecast built right into it. Having something that's as small as this that you can just whip out at any time and place on a table or a small tripod is super convenient. It takes less than like two minutes to pull this projector out of storage, lock it onto a tripod via that quarter 20 screw on the bottom and project it onto a wall. No having to fool around with the focus or keystone and you don't even need to plug it in. Nebula rates this projector for about two and a half hours of battery life on a full charge, which is easily enough to get through most movies. If you want more time than that, you can easily just plug in an anchor power bank or something like that and have it run continuously for a very long time. This little guy is intended to be a fully portable home theater experience. So the Capsule 3 Laser has an eight watt Dolby Digital speaker that sounds 
pretty decent. In fact, it can also be used as a Bluetooth speaker too. If for once you don't actually need the projector, but you do need to play something, you know, uh, some music or some audio, you can switch the Capsule 3 laser into the Bluetooth speaker mode and play the music straight from here. Like I said, it sounds decent, but it's definitely not gonna rival a full sound system or anything. So if you want more, you can always use the 3.5 millimeter jack on the back of the projector to plug in something a bit beefier. So this Capsule 3 laser is really cool. But what if you wanted something more? Something that's still fairly portable, but has a much higher resolution and can even be used indoors with some lights on. That is where this guy comes in. This is Nebula's flagship laser projector, the Cosmos Laser 4K. It is a 4K DLP laser projector with four built-in speakers, and it's capable of outputting up to 1840 ANSI lumens of brightness. In other words, this thing is very bright. So bright that it actually supports HDR10 and can project an image up to 150 inches. I don't even have the space to project an image that big, but seeing this projected onto my blank white wall next to my now tiny looking 50 inch TV makes me want to toss the TV altogether. Also, yeah, my dog recently decided to use my brand new fireplace as a chew toy. Thank you, Monty. Around the back of the Cosmos 4K, there's this little hatch where you actually plug in the included streaming stick, which is awesome because if something ever happens to this thing or they release a new one with better specs, you can upgrade it very easily. Underneath the hatch, you'll find the IO for the projector. There's a 3.5 mil jack for audio, a USB port, an HDMI port, and a DC in port for powering it. Because unlike the Capsule 3 laser, this does not have a built-in battery pack. It's still easy to carry around because of this top handle, but this is one of those projectors that you'd likely wanna have a dedicated space for in your home. These two projectors are completely different products that have some similarities, but they're used for different purposes for sure. The Cosmos 4K uses a very similar autofocus and auto keystone feature as the Capsule 3, and it uses the same Android TV software and has a set of IO on the back that's very similar, but that's more or less where the similarities end. If you want a tiny laser projector that you can throw in a backpack on your way to work or on your way to a friend's house, you'll definitely want the Capsule 3 laser. It's super light and portable, it's bright enough for most use cases, and it has a built-in battery. But if you're looking for the most immersive movie watching experience and you don't care as much about the portability, the Cosmos 4K is the projector to buy. It's very sharp at 4K, insanely bright for a projector this size, and because it's a laser projector, the colors and contrast look far better than most bulb-based projectors that I've owned in my lifetime. The Capsule 3 laser is the cheaper projector at like $799, but there's a sale on right now, so it's sitting at about $679 for a limited time. The Cosmos 4K is definitely the pricier one at $2,000, but they're also giving you a sale on that one for $400 off making it $1,600, which, believe it or not, is actually significantly cheaper than most 4K laser projectors on the market. I'll have links to where you can find each of these projectors in the description down below. Thank you to Nebula for sponsoring this video, and thank you for watching. Hope you liked the video, and as always, have a great day.